Hey guys, DLC 3 Bounty of Blood for Borderlands 3 just went live and within this DLC they have definitely added some easter eggs and secrets. The devs love to add stuff in like this and in this video I'm going to show you guys a hidden room. This hidden room is underneath one of the maps and you can't see it on the mini map and it can be tricky to find because you have to play through half of the DLC and then backtrack to the beginning of the DLC to locate the access point. So when you first spawn into the DLC you're going to be in the map called Vestige. To go all the way back to the very beginning of the game where you first started, you want to go to Vestige and then go to the Drop Pod location. Then just make your way around to this area right here, and about this point, there is going to be a Telezapper that you can access. This Telezapper or Teleporter can be easily missed because if you're just walking the path, you actually have to turn around and look behind you because it's hidden behind this fence. This Teleporter is not accessible until you get to a certain point in the game where you interact with one of the NPCs and at that point it will turn on all of these teleporter or telezappers and allow you to go through them. But when you go through this one you're going to be in this hidden secret room underneath Vestige and there's all kinds of cool stuff to look at in here. This is I guess considered the developer room because on the wall right there there is a giant mural of all the developers. Looks like they're doing an old west setting and they're posing in front of a train that says Vestige at the top and at the bottom it says the old crew 2020. You can find this picture in other places as well, and there's kind of an easter egg to the ending boss fight, and I'll show you guys that in just a moment. But if you look to the right while you're in this room, it says FU COVID on the wall. And big shout out to these devs for creating such a wonderful DLC during this pandemic. It seems like them working from home hasn't slowed them down at all. I'll show you guys in the mini-map where you actually are. This is right underneath the main town of Vestige. This is where the theater and the bank are, and you are right below it. And again, you can't see that there's actually a room there. Again, there's lots of stuff to look at in this room. There is a loot llama that you can shoot that will produce loot. There is two Jacob's chests in here, and when you leave and come back and restart your game, all three of these will respawn and you can loot them again. The next place you can find this dev's mural is pretty early on in the game, which gives you a hint to the main boss fight. Right after you go into Vestige, you will go into the map The Blast Plains. Right as you spawn into this map, you can jump on one of the new Jet Beast bikes and head over to this home right here on the left. This is the very first building you're going to encounter. If you go into the house and up the stairs around to the left, and I just realized that this is also the Nuketown Zombies house that they have blown up and added at the end of this DLC. I literally just realized that as I'm walking up those stairs. But anyways, if you make your way over to this area, you're going to find the mural on the wall above this tub. Again, you're going to see this really early on in the game, like one of the first missions. And if you look closely, you're going to see a rock type creature on the bottom left. You won't know when you're looking at it, but this is one of the bosses in the boss fight. There's a large one that looks like this, and then these little guys that are running around in the arena. The third, and what I believe is the final place you're going to find the dev's mural, is at the very end of the credits, if you watch all of those. So I think this is all of them. There might be others, but I love stuff like this, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it too, and we'll see you next video.